Hey everyone, Scunny here, and today I wanted to talk to you about the Galaxy S20 FE. So, my wife and I recently upgraded from the Galaxy S7. Um, it's been a long time coming. We got the S7 when it first came out, and we decided to upgrade to the Galaxy uh, S20 FE Fan Edition. Um, we have Verizon, and this is what I want to specifically talk about with this because there are plenty of other videos out there uh, discussing this phone and its features and everything like that. This phone with Verizon is what I wanted to talk about. Now this is my first unlocked version of this phone. Um, I bought it unlocked because when this first came out it was listed at $700. Um, but then on Amazon Best Buy and Samsung.com, the unlocked version had a $100 discount as well as like some of the other carrier uh, versions um, had a $100 discount on it. So it was only $600 per phone. Now, uh, that being said, it being an unlocked phone and on Verizon's network, there are some things that you need to know. So Verizon itself has its own variation of this phone, which is the S20 FE UW, uh, which stands for Ultra Wideband, which is their 5G network. Um, it's a higher frequency net, uh, 5G network. It's not in a lot of cities right now. Uh, and even in the cities that it's in, it is very limited in its range and coverage. Um, this phone, the unlocked version of this phone, does not support the ultra wideband uh, network for Verizon. So if you do buy the unlocked version, just be prepared that you're not going to, even if you're in an area that has the, uh, what they call it, uh, millimeter wave, uh, MM wave, 5G, uh, you're not going to be getting that signal with the unlocked version. Now, um, this does support the sub-6, which is the lower frequency 5G uh, that most carriers have. Verizon itself is supposed to be coming out with uh, a version of this sub-6 5G this year, so they say, um, which this should be able to support unless... Verizon does some messing around to make that not possible, which I don't think they could. So just be aware of that. Also, the Verizon variant of this phone comes at a $50 surplus price. So you're going to pay, be paying $50 on top of the normal phones. So normally this would be $700. For the Verizon variant, you're paying $750 for it. Um, now there are some places where you can get it for like $650, which is like $50 above the discounted ver uh, version of this. Um, so like Best Buy, I think, offers something like that. So you could do it that way and just pay for the extra. If, it, if, you, if you care about the ultra wideband, higher speeds, but smaller range 5G, which a lot of places out there like um, kind of mixed signals on whether it's worth it or not uh, so just keep that in mind another thing with these if you do go with the unlocked version and not the Verizon variant certain things with the Verizon network will not work with this phone um, namely the the Verizon uh, caller ID which is I think call filtering pro or like the the pro call filtering for Verizon uh, that does not work with this so you're going to have to end up getting um, something like uh, Haya or a different um, call filtering and caller ID app which when it comes down to it paying a yearly subscription for Haya which I, Samsung phones come with like a default version of Haya. Um, but if you wanted like a pro, the pro version, which is like 
more up to date and and more supported than just the the standard uh, one that comes with uh, Samsung phones. Um, you're going to be paying around two dollars, a little bit over two dollars uh, a month for it for Verizon's version of the Pro Color ID. Um, color ID, you're going to be paying somewhere between three and four dollars a phone. I think I think we're paying three dollars a phone for that. And just know that I mean Verizon's color ID is not the best. So um, Haya itself got really good reviews. And just keep that in mind if you're if you're going with the unlock version as opposed to Verizon. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So just be aware that if you are going for the Verizon uh, or the, the Samsung unlocked version and you're trying to get in on Verizon, it will work. Uh, right now I have LTE coverage, LTE plus coverage um, with this because Verizon hasn't come out with their 5G sub six yet. Um, and be aware that some features that ver are Verizon specific may not work on this either. Um, so yeah. Uh, just thought people would be interested in knowing some of that information. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the chat box below. Thanks. See you.